game. We saw the classics out there on the field and... Uh, it was definitely a good one to watch. And right now we're looking at the Navy women taking on the Army women. And Navy just kicked off Army with the ball in hand. Met by the Navy defence yet again as they go for the short side there. But Navy are rushing up in defence, shutting them down. They're right on that line, but they just can't seem to get over it. Army finally get over the line, so it took them... Looks for some space on the outside there, but the Navy did not hold her down. She was able to place the ball, pick up and go. Leaving one of the Navy players down with what looks like a little bit of an injury yet again as there's a... As Army go out to the far side, they collect the ball, but are met strongly by the defence once more. But managed to get over the line. Which now takes Army to 12 points, and the Navy are yet to score with a kick to come. Sarah Reardon again finds some space, palms off Carpenter. The Navy players, they're definitely fast enough to catch her, but she's so strong, she's got a great fend. She fended off three players, and it just made it so easy for her to get over the line again. Ellis with the ball in hand passes it off to Zara who looks for space but does, decides to pass it on into the hands of the army number four in Jordan Neal who goes over for another try for army and no surprises there. Chuka you called it. This defensive effort from the Navy side is commendable as army go high and start to work their way across the line. And they get a try just on full time. Sorry, half time, not full time. I got excited then. <laughs> so that's the end of the first half. He doesn't really do much with it. Has to go to ground though. Ellis with the ball in hand. She finds some space, but Navy holding onto the back of her jersey, trying to grab onto her and piggyback her as she just muscles her way across the line. And Army get over the try line in the first less, what have we got? Less than a minute bit of a backwards run there nice so I think that army should basically quick tap here and pass it straight out to the right and they should be in Brianna Cheatham just cruises over the line there I don't think Navy were ready for that and I think that you're right that's what army need to do is more quick taps army with the ball in hand bit of a messy ruck if I was army I'd tap and go here we go all the Navy are offside Ellis. There. she should be in yep Easy try by Ellis there, and we spoke about it before, as we said, when they do the quick taps, that is where Army are able to get on the front foot, and that's where all their opportunities come from, because Navy are just not ready for it. Just come onto the field, it looks like. Ellis to Sharon Laws again, who passes it out to Gabe Taylor, who passes it to Zara Lee, who then gets it out to the 14 in Jessica Sammy, who finds so much space out there and so much speed, and she coasts over the line. So, Molly, that try, none of the Army team took the ball right into the contact before they passed. They passed the ball early, the ball moved quickly, and that's how they got their space. The Army back line setting up, getting ready as Ellis sends the ball out to, here we go, Sarah Ridden with the ball, Zara Lee, and she just coasts over the line. But she almost ran out. She nearly ran into the dead ball zone. <laughs> Army now sitting at 50, sorry, 62 points. Towards the wing there as Army offloads again. But it was a bit of a messy offload this time. Ellis gets the ball in hand now as she finds some space and finds a gap. And she's so fast as well. She's just got to get around this 10 who's acting as fullback and she does it. Courtney Frankel is screaming towards her. But Ellis goes over to that far side of the field, manages to dodge her and Army get over for another try chooker. That great, I know that Army just scored, but that run from Courtney Frankel, because she... Okay, so Army sending the ball out wide. Gabe Taylor with the ball in hand again, which goes into the hands of the number seven, Haley Sheehan, who's spending a lot of time out wide. And the ball now in the hands of the 16 and Alexis Matthews, who... Another easy try. Another very easy try to Army. Of... I think that's Jordan Neal. Okay, as Army find another gap and they just race away. Courtney Frankel racing after her. I want to see a big dive tackle soon as the 14 in. 
Jessica Sammy gets the ball now, and she just goes through straight under the sticks. And you can see that Navy is starting to look a little bit defeated. Heads are going down, and when you're 76 points to nil, you can... They are thinking that they've got a good vibe amongst the team. They've got some good grunt, got some good go forward, and this is why. Shazzy Laws with the ball in hand. Great try there from number 19, Sharon Laws. Shazza. Good work. She, you know what? She's got a good work rate. And roll. Just check out the defense here for the Navy, Molly. They're massively open there on the blind side. And if Army can control their passes here, control their runs, they should be in the score. Um, you're absolutely right. All they had to do then was just do like a nice little offload before they went into contact. That's exactly what they did. And they were able to find the space in front of them and they went over for another try. So Army are now sitting at I think that's well nil. as a group and they have a lot of experience in there as well. I just want to pay credit to the Navy though. I think that they did a